Welcome to the Land of House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that does not need fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. So basically, water is going to come down a pipe. It's going to enter the pump, activate this waste valve, which then sends a pressure wave into the pressure tank, and that's what pushes water uphill. So a question that I'm asked often is, does it matter what kind of drive pipe you use, whether it's PVC, or this flexible poly pipe. So in the past I've tested and it made a huge difference in the pressure buildup in the pump. But in this case, we're going to actually do a flow rate test at the top to see the difference between using the poly pipe or the PVC pipe. So let's go ahead and get started. The rigidity of the pipe is what makes a difference. When the pressure wave is sent through the drive pipe, you don't want it to bounce and you don't want it to flex out. So the PVC being more rigid does not allow as much flex and also as much bounce as your poly pipe, which is a lot lighter. So for the first test, I'm gonna be hooking up half inch PVC pipe to this half inch ram pump. And we're going to be timing for one minute at the top to see what the output is. The ram pump is designed to be used in a creek, but in this case, I'm gonna use a five gallon bucket as my water source. Now this has a float valve on it to keep the bucket full. So that'll keep a consistent level here. So if I turn on my drive pipe, it's going to fill up the drive pipe going down here to the pump. Now I need to make sure that I get all of the air out of the line. So I'm gonna open this valve down here. It's gonna bubble a bit to get that air out. Now, sometimes when the valve closes, there's still air in here. So I just need to purge that out by holding this down. Sometimes a stick can be helpful. Purge those air bubbles out. You can see the ram pump is now cycling on its own, sending a pressure wave up the delivery pipe. Now I had already pre-filled this pipe, but normally you have to sit and fill it manually until it gets up to the top. But on the porch of my house up here is where the garden hose goes to. It's about 25 feet or more above the uh, pump right here, where you can see the source is right on here and that hill goes way up there. So now that we have the PVC drive pipe. Let's go up there and time for one minute to see what the output is going to be. Here's the output of the ram pump with a PVC drive pipe. So I've got my stopwatch ready and my little measuring cup. Do this at the same time. All right, at one minute we'll stop and see how much water we have in here. After one minute I have placed the container up here and we'll use the same spot each time. So it looks like right at 700 milliliters is our value for PVC drive pipe. I now have the poly pipe installed. I was able to find a piece that matched the same length of my PVC drive pipe. So the test should be very consistent. Let's go ahead and turn the water on here. It'll begin to fill that poly pipe up. Go down here and open up this valve. Make sure all the air is removed. So just like before, I'm gonna hold a stick in here to get that air out. And all that debris apparently. I need to flush that pipe. Hopefully I didn't get any debris into the secondary valve. Let's see if we're gonna cycle here. All right, seems to be working. You can open this side up. Now you can already see that the drive pipe is shaking a lot more than the PVC was all the way up here. Okay, here we have the poly pipe output. Let's go ahead and time for a minute and see what we get.
And the results are in for is poly pipe or PVC pipe better for lifting water with the ram pump. The results are also in that it is crazy hot out here today. If you would remember to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. All right, here we go. And with the poly pipe, we had 150 milliliters less than we did with the PVC pipe. So it is definitely producing less output with the poly pipe here at the top. Let's see if you'll be able to hear the difference between the pressure wave inside of PVC versus inside of poly pipe. So let me bring the mic down here close. Doesn't have near the force that the other side does. So, all right, there we have it. So you can see that the output difference between the PVC pipe and the poly pipe is significant. So if you had a 24 hour period versus that one minute, you'd have a lot more water if you were to use the PVC pipe instead of the poly pipe. Now, even with the PVC, you're losing some bounce. So put some heavy things like rocks on top of that to uh, prevent the uh, bounce from happening. Now, there is a use for the poly pipe. If you need to uh, snake your way around a lot of um, uh, curves and twists in your creek, then you may want to use the poly pipe, but then put a stand pipe in about 20 or 30 feet away from the pump and then use PVC after that, and you will get much better results than uh, snaking that uh, poly pipe around in the creek. If you're interested in the ram pump, I have four different sizes available at landahouse.com and Amazon and eBay. I have links for those in the description down below. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. So let's turn on our drive pipe. Water is going to come out right there because I haven't hooked up my pipe yet. <laughs> <laughs>